There he is. Look at the face. Look at him. He's ready. Look at his eyes. Look at that mustache. That's a man who's focused. That's a man who's dialed in. He's making his new debut in a new place. Same old face, though. Look at those eyes. It's the eyes of a killer. All right. Are you prepared for tonight's action? Monday night football, not even the double. It's 9-11, it's New York City, it's Aaron Rodgers, it's the New York Jets. We'll take your calls coming up on the fan. A two-hour schmooze. It's all of that. All of it. You know what I love? Absolutely love about tonight's game more than anything else. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for being here. Jacked up. We get to make some money. Simple, simple. All right, here's what's going on. I'm going to hit you with a three-leg parlay, same game parlay. You can use this as your bet sweat. You can use this as your risk-free. You can use this across the board. I'm going to hit you with some sharp touchdown props, all right? Anytime TD's in the house. Definitely a first TD as well, since we hit that on Thursday night. And then before we get out of here, top player props, including the Lindy least approved play of the day, because Eric Lindquist loves it just absolutely so much. Look. This is on Caesars for you right now. 21 or older gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. You bet 50, get 250 back. Weekly bonuses are 50 bucks, but the drill is that you get 250 back. Okay, put it on tonight. Under 46, 45, whatever it is now on Caesars, and the Moneyline Jets. That's it. Who cares what happens because you're going to get 250 back. If you hit, you'll get that extra 145. I'm not even trying to load it up. I just want this thing to hit. All right? Simple stuff. Okay, let's look at the game itself. And speaking of the total, this game does not stay under or stay over. I'm sorry, projected total right away. Just can't even get stuff out as I'm trying to do two things at once. Read and talk. Read, react, read, react. Tonight, that's all it's going to be for Aaron Rodgers. Pop, 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 pop around. You look at the totals for tonight and Monday night games. Home team is the dog. 11, 32, and 2 to the under. That means that the under has hit 32 times in that scenario, including 13 and 0 over the last two years. When you add the last 10 AFC East same division games are 1, 8, 1 and under. So our first leg of our same game parlay is going to, and again, this is why it's helpful to play this on a boost. FanDuel boost, Caesars boost, BetMGM boost. We have links below for them all. No excuse. You sign up, you play them. This is how you boost. All right. You push it up to 52 and a half. This thing is not going over 52 points. It's not. 51's the key number. 41's the other we pay attention to. For this part, it's simple, folks. Josh Allen over 38 and a half rushing yards. He is a force in the rushing game. He is their best running back. Brian Dable doesn't come in all of a sudden and say, you know, let me change the world right now. Let me change what got us to where we were. Let me change what allows us to be in every single football game. No. Over 38 and a half rushing yards for Josh Allen without a doubt. And then look, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, but they're not going to force anything. You'll see a different, a lot of you gave up on Rodgers because you didn't even realize or you chose to ignore the fact that he was playing with a thumb injury last year. The reality <laughs> is you're going to see something special here. So we go plus 375 is what will count on our record. But in this case, if you boost it, I boosted it on FanDuel and I got it up to 559. Under 52 and a half, Josh Allen over 38 and a half Jets first half spread. That's the first, that's the same game parlay right away. <clears throat> Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. You let me know what you love. You let me know which leg you think is going to bust. That's below. I just want positivity. That's all I ask. But I know I can't, I can't corral it. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, this is my video and I only want, I don't know. None of that. In fact, it's something simple. Good, bad, ugly. You let me know. Rank those three. Give me the good, the bad, the ugly. I don't know. I mean, Jets first half. That's the one that I think is going to get a lot of people upset. Look, I love the Jets coming out and controlling the clock, keeping it away from Buffalo. 
getting some sharp throws from Aaron Rodgers that aren't forced and relying on two running backs, two running backs. So gave you already that free play over there at Caesars, right? The other part of this is looking now, and again, you're going to find boosts for days. So identify where you're going to get a boost, how you can get a boost, and then apply it because first touchdown boosts are all over the place. So first TD bet, this is what we do here, right? This is what we're going to start with. For me, it's going to be Jets related. And I think so much emphasis on Rodgers, on Garrett Wilson, so much just emphasis on the revamped passing game. And I know a lot of you are just going to bet, bet, bet heavy. Now, to be fair, Amon St. Brown, Amon Ra, pardon me, St. Brown was a 10 to 1 shot that we hit on Thursday. I thought that was a little more obvious. But who am I to decree what's obvious and not? I lose shit all the time here. But when we hit, we smash. And it's just this massive shot that goes all the way up through the clouds. And you're watching it and people are yelling at you to cross first base and second. And you can't pimp a home run. Look, first TD is going to Dalvin Cook. First TD is going to the run game. It's not Brees Hall, we know that. Dalvin Cook was brought in here to compliment, but it's not going to be in the passing game. In fact, it would make so much sense to see Dalvin Cook just step in. So our first TD play of the game is going to be Dalvin Cook. Anytime's coming up, but I'm just letting you know, I got him at 9-1. to one. You can get him at 9-1 to one as well. Love Ty Conklin. There's only one established contact right now, or I should say uh, one established receiver that I think you can point to connection would be the word that I was thinking of. And for some reason said contact, who cares? The reality is, is that you understand what I'm saying now, at least there's only one established connection. These, the rest of this game is totally up for grabs with Aaron Rodgers. totally up for grabs. So if you look at Ty Conklin at nearly four to one, this is a fine spot for him to jump in and capitalize on being and, and working his way up to being a second target. Give me Ty Conklin. Again, you're playing these all at quarter unit, tenth of a unit for first TD. Any times are always quarter unit. Rest are bills. And we're going with the non-obvious because I think that's where we're going to be the best value here. Dawson Knox at plus 360 quarter unit. Gabe Davis anytime quarter unit. Now, just to recap here, Conklin steps in. Gabe Davis and Dawson Knox, there's only so much that this Jets defense is going to be able to limit. And clearly, Stephon Diggs, the connection between Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs is going to be first and foremost. And the other part is the run game. And that can be, to an extent, Limiting the backs. That's why we love Josh Allen, especially running out of pressure. So that opens up those two next receivers, Gabe Davis and Dawson Knox. Look, it's no not on either one of these guys, but I don't see Robert Sala saying, you know, if we don't take Dawson Knox out of this game, we are absolutely screwed to the wall. I just, I don't see it. So those three are the key. We'll recap them again, but those three are the key there for the touchdowns. Now, I got three. I have three player props, and one of them is the Lindy least approved play of the day. We'll head on over to Odd Shopper, see what they say, because I am curious just what it looks like. And look, you know, Dalton Kincaid. There you go. That's the play for us. Now you see it. Now I'll show you what's going on with it specifically, just so that you can see the workings of it here. But it's on points bet. And we've just found a significantly better number than everybody else. And it happens to be beating the market. There you go. This is here for you. This is our number one play for Monday Night Football here for you. And I'm going to give you a link below 70% off your first purchase. Let's go is the code. The link's below. Either way, use it. You want the first week? You want the first month? 
Either way, you're going to get 70% off. Simple stuff, right? And all I'm doing is showing you what it is. Look, there you go. Dalton Kincaid. Uh, I wouldn't know Dalton Kincaid if he fell on me. I, I don't know who the hell this guy is, is what you're hearing from a lot of these old timers. That's why you play fantasy. That's why you do all that. <sighs> Come on, cuz. Get with it, will you? Will you? Look. Pop back up to me, Dalton. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. Just making sure. Last one for you, player props. Let's get four player props total. I gave you one. That's Dalton Kincaid. Top one for me, Tyler Bass. Buffalo is going to struggle moving this football up and down the field. We already told you we're going under. A lot of trends moving under to this game as well. Yeah, both defenses. I understand Von Miller. That only gives the Jets a chance like in the first half to get up. So love being able to take advantage of Tyler Bass, extending some drives, capitalizing on a couple of drives, getting a field goal in there. So we'll go over one and a half field goals for Tyler Bass. I get it. Not the sexiest of player props, but we're out here trying to win, man. All right. That's it. Let's go. Last one for you here. Aaron Rodgers plus money over one and a half passing touchdowns plus 115. All right. And then there you go. Lindy's least approved play of the day plus $4,500. So there's a link below for you at BetMGM where you can sign up. You get your first bet back. It's probably up to a G now, I think. It doesn't have to be, but I believe it's up to a G. It can be anywhere from 10 to 1,000. And then you get two free months of our Discord. Come in and, and really let Eric Linkwist know when you get in there because that's why you're there. He's the one that's riding these hot streaks in baseball now. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Two plus touchdowns for a guy who can easily step in as the lead receiver, especially with so much focus now from Buffalo's defense on the top guy for the Jets. Opens up a number two slot. Why not two touchdowns for him? Buffalo, a little soft spot there. Yeah. Lindy's least approved play of the day is brought to you by the Discord. Sign up now and get two free months. Bang. Love it. We're in. We're out. Okay. Let's recap what happened. This is, by the way, where we are right now. And then I'll show you moving forward. So far, this week, so far, all right, we're still up nearly two units on any times. Player props just, just below, all right? Meet in three, well, we're down one unit. That should be. I don't know why that's somebody trying to help me out here. I'm calling you out on that shit. It's one unit total. And then uh, our top five, which is our weekly Saturday video where I just run through the top five plays no matter what, went two and three, and uh, we got bit. We got bit. So, you know, what can you do here, cousin? It was not a good one. But you know what? Here we are. Here we are. Let's recap. Same game parlay. Under 52 and a half all total. Josh Allen over 38 and a half rushing yards. Jets first half plus one and a half. That's plus 375. First touchdown, Dalvin Cook, Ty Conklin, anytime, Gabe Davis, anytime, Dawson Knox, anytime. Player props, Tyler Bass, two field goals, Aaron Rodgers, two passing touchdowns, Dalton Kincaid, three receptions, and then Lindy's least approved is Tyler Conklin, two plus touchdowns. That's it. Did you hit the thumbs up button? Did you subscribe? We'll see you.